Good morning guys, I finally have the day off after six days straight of working. So I'm gonna be going down to the apartment gym to lift some weights. I'm doing a push day today, so I don't actually have bench press or anything there. They do have a Smith machine, so I could technically do bench press on that, but I think I'm gonna keep it at a dumbbell so I can work out. Anyway, I'm probably gonna use this background a lot when I'm here, but um, it's a bit windy today. Boys are doing well. Took them out for their morning walk already, didn't I, puppies? Can't get over it. It's beautiful. It's a nice day today. It feels great to have a day off after so long of not having a day off. Um, I want to be pretty productive. It's not really a hard... I don't even want to be that productive. I just want to go to the gym and I want to relax because I'm very tired. I have been so tired. Thankfully, I got the chance to sleep in a little bit. Um, oh, whoops. I forgot. I left their harnesses on from going for the walk, so I should probably take those off before I go out. Um, but yeah, I just want to relax today but definitely going to the gym. Pre-workout and pre-team, so we to get started. I'm in the apartment gym. There's no one here, so I'll give you a quick walkthrough of what it's like. Um, Last time I worked out here, I wasn't confident enough, I don't think, to film. Because I don't even care right now if someone walks in, that's how confident I'm getting with filming. I didn't realise they have a they have a barbell. Shit, that's good. I did, oh, oh, they do have bench press. I forgot. I completely forgot. I can do bench press. Yes. I actually forgot how good it was. It's much better than I thought it was. So they got these. Um, that's the tree where all the weights go. Got dumbbells. These ones are up to 10 kilos, and they got the heavier ones here. They've got a bunch of benches. Oh, they've even got a preacher curl thing. Ah, uh, they got a Smith machine. The only thing they're missing, really stupid, is the squat rack. Um, but you just do Smith machine squats while you're here, I guess. Got this thing for abs. We got Stairmaster, an old school Stairmaster, that's crazy. Um, an elliptical machine or two elliptical machines. They've got this. Um, so a cable machine where you can do cable flies and a whole bunch of other exercises as well as pull-ups and then they have a, this is a leg press, wow, leg press and calf raise machine, raise machine, sorry, they have a shoulder press, which is cool, and this is chest, a pec deck of sorts, it's not really like a pec deck you see anywhere else. I actually forgot how good this gym was. I forgot they had so many cable machines. So I might actually be doing more of my workouts here now that I know this. Instead of worrying about going to my gym unless I need to beat traffic. Um, they've got a lap pull down machine and a seated row, obviously. They're usually together. For some reason it keeps looking like my camera's blurry, but I don't think it is. Um, and then they've got a leg extension machine. I don't look after your hamstrings, unfortunately, but I suppose you can do a bit of a hack where you stand backwards to this and then like do calf, oh, sorry, hamstring raises. Um, they just got a bunch of treadmills, another elliptical machine, some bikes, a rower. I mean, it's all a bit older. Like my mum and sister's apartment building is newish, but I think this one's connected to that apartment building in front, which has been here for a while, so. That's pretty damn good though, all things considered. I didn't, I, I forgot how decent it was. Um, if I lived here, I'd probably just come here, except for days when I wanted to do legs, because really, you can do, you can even do dead lips in here. I mean, it's not 24 hours though, unfortunately. You've got the sauna, which I should come into later, just for a bit of relaxation. I might even come for a swim, but I, I don't think I brought any from any of the swimming, so. That's the pool, it's a little pool. Oh, I don't even know how many meters it is, but yeah. So, time to get this workout started. I can actually do bench press, so I'm pretty happy with that. That's what I normally start my push days with bench press, because it is good. Anyway, here we go.
in the gym um, I filmed despite I filmed every single exercise I did one set of each despite the fact there were like three four different people in the gym I'm becoming so much more confident at such an exponential rate it's so rapid it, it's, it's awesome I'm loving it because up until this year I was so shy and I really 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 was introverted I've always known that I am an extrovert but I've always been too shy to show that. Um, even the other day I was saying I complimented that lady on her haircut. Um, I can't remember how long ago it was, maybe a week and a half. Just then I spoke to a stranger in the lift coming back up to mum's apartment. I said to him, oh, that's a cute hat because he had a baby with him and he looked like he was probably her grandfather and she had an adorable hat on and I said, that's a cute hat. Little things like that, talking to strangers that I would never do before because I was, would be so worried about what they'd think of me that I wouldn't even bother trying. And I was just too shy, I would blush, I wouldn't be able to talk. I do it now without a second thought. It's like I'm getting to the point where I don't even have to force myself to do it. And it's like immersion therapy. If you do something that you're afraid of, you're going to be less and less afraid of it. And I feel like that's what's happening with my confidence. I'm faking it until I make it, as they say, as lame as that sounds. Um, I feel amazing too, like it's so good. Um, so yeah, I talking to strangers, which it's always been something that I wish I could do. I listened to a really good um, video uh, while I was, because I seem to get YouTube Red free, YouTube Premium free, because I pay for um, Google Music. I'm just doing my protein right now, having my protein shake. But yeah, I downloaded her video about how to care less what people think about you. Um, obviously, I'm getting better and better at it, but I do enjoy listening to things and reading liter literature on stuff like that. So um, it was really good. It was going on about how life is really short, and it is. It is so short. Um, why would you care what people think about you? I'm going to be dead soon. In like probably 50 short years, I will be dead, or I will at least be 77 years old. And none of this shit will matter. So I might as well just live my best life. Such a shitty saying these days. But I might as well live my most true and genuine life and do what I want to do. Because none of these people's opinions matter. Um, he's, the guy has got a YouTube channel and a website. It's actualized.org, his website. But that's where I listen to it. Uh, it was very helpful. So check it out if you'd like. Um, but yeah, protein shake time. Probably going to have some crumpets as a post-workout meal with some peanut butter. Um, but yeah, as for what I do with the rest of my day off, who knows? I'm feeling good. I felt a bit sick before. I don't know if it was um, from the eggs I ate earlier or what. They don't normally make me feel sick, but one of them I boiled a while ago, so who knows? But I feel better now, so that's good. One of the perks of staying so close to the city is I can just randomly decide to go and pick Emily up after work and hang out with her. Oh, it's a bit windy, so you can excuse that. But yeah, it's literally a 15, 10 or 15 minute train ride to the city from where Mum lives. That's a part of the reason why I think Emily and I want to live so close to the city because we know that every time we've stayed here our lifestyle just feels so much better because when you're in the suburbs, especially where we were initially looking to buy houses, 45 k's from the city and then like 40 k's from the city are the different suburbs we've looked at, it's too far. For someone that loves the city like I do and like Emily does, it's just a massive hassle to get there. Emily works in the city. I want to work in the city in the next couple of years, so it only makes sense to live close to the city. Um, it's just so much better as well. I'm loving it here. Being so productive and I'm so happy and it just reaffirms my decision to move into the city. So I didn't film anything, but I went and got Emily from work and um, now we're at home and I just made dinner. I forgot to get Mexican seasoning, so my chico, chi my chico, my chicken tonight has uh, has salsa on it instead. 
It's actually relatively low calorie and if I like it, it's going to be a new option for me and I've got mashed potatoes and veggies. And I'm excited to smash this food down. It's going to be amazing. I just waxed my mo, which is why it's all red. Um, it needed to be done pretty bad. I just cleansed my face as well, so hopefully I don't get a rash or pimples, but if I do, I oh will. Um, I'm now hair free. Obviously not, because I've got eyebrows. And... Um, anyway, what are you waiting for, Angus? Your brew, what are you waiting for? Brew, Batman, what are you waiting for? I'm gonna his tail. Um, it's been a really good day today. I was pretty happy with my workout, especially considering I felt quite lightheaded and ugh. I finished it anyway, and it was good. Um, tomorrow, I may or may not be working out with my sister Emma. I sent her a text today saying she should come do training with me. She's mentioned that she wants to do resistance training, but she's just never been able to get into it, so I wouldn't mind doing a workout with her to show her. It's pretty fun. Um, Emily's got the day off as well, so we're going to be shopping and all that sort of stuff, so it's going to be exciting. Um, I've lost quite a bit of weight now, so trying on show, trying on shows, what was I going to say, trying on clothes will be a fun thing instead of a daunting thing. But that's all I have to say, I'm going to lay in bed and watch videos. Thanks for watching, hope you're doing well, take care and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.